Well, there has been a lot of uncertainty swirling in the markets over just what Dubai's debt restructuring may look like. In fact, Morgan Stanley now says that the number may almost double to more than $46 billion in terms of the absolute debt of the government. If you include some of those off-balance sheets, vehicles, the numbers get into $120 billion and above, according to some sources. The question now is, will Dubai World have to sell some of its assets to pay its own debts? We're going to put that question now to our next guest, Rachel Ziemba. She's a senior analyst at Rubini Global Economics, and she's our guest here now in studio. Uh, we're hearing today that this restructuring is going to probably take longer than six months. Not a big surprise considering how big the numbers are themselves, but what does that tell you about what progress may be? underway I mean, or not. Sure. Well, I mean, the, 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 the first headline is what happens December 14th when the Kiel stat comes due. Um, and I think a lot of people are watching that. What has always struck me about this restructuring was that it was never going to be easy. The mm -hmm. sums in question, the number of different creditors, the number of different assets on the balance sheet. I do think we're going to see asset sales, but I don't think we should hold up too many hopes about the amount of cash that can be raised that way. It's worth noting that a number of the assets themselves have lost value and a number of the them have uh, have debt attached to them so I think we'll see that but again one of the things we've been saying since this story revived is that this is one of many restructurings we're going to see throughout the global economy as people uh, rebuild their balance sheets mm -hmm. and that's not going to be easy yeah, I mean, it, it's funny because you look at the mainstream press and they've largely brushed off the Dubai issue saying, oh, the credit markets has, have gotten over it. They haven't. And the question of what the restructuring of this debt is going to look like will really set the precedent for what some of these other government-related entities may look like should they, you know, have similar issues with their debt levels. What kind of uh, haircut do you expect some of these bondholders to have to take? I mean, I think it's really difficult to speculate. I think we could see some significant, significant haircuts. I think the other place people are looking is whether haircuts will also extend to the healthier parts of Dubai world. For example, um, those who've been left out of this 26 billion restructuring. And attention's also turning to Dubai Holding, which is another one of the government-held right. companies. And its asset profile is somewhat similar to Dubai, Dubai world. Its credit profile is a little different. They had less com debt coming due today. But today's news about Istis Mars, uh, sorry, about Dubai, about Nikhil's Profit, mm -hmm. um, or rather, that losses. 3.6 billion this, dollar loss. We understand why they wanted to stand still on their debt, um, mm -hmm. and it just only shows that um, I think creditors are going to be asked to take a significant, a significant haircut. In some ways, in my view, I think this is just the latest wave of the credit crisis, particularly as it relates to Dubai, mm -hmm. where Dubai property has faced this significant burst, uh, the bursting of the bubble. And right. Morgan Stanley out today saying that you could see. Uh, a haircut of 40 to 50 percent on some of that external debt. Just one number being floated out there. Obviously a painful cut if we get it. Uh, quickly though, I do want to get your reaction to the news today of yet another ratings agency <laughs> putting up a red flag about the debt levels of Greece. Yes. Is this a domino effect or are these isolated instances? I think that we're looking around the world now that we've returned to economic growth, the recession has ended, and looking at the cost of some of the policies taken mm -hmm. to get out of the recession. And we're looking at where the weak balance sheets are, whether they're in companies, whether they're in households, whether they're in, in countries. And I think in the European time zone, mm -hmm. Greece included, um, we see some vulnerabilities. So not a trigger yeah. by Dubai, but this is a reminder that we're not out of the woods yet. All right. Thank you so much.